okay welcome to video number five on how to use the combination of different ai tools to ease up your research work now in today's work we'll be looking at how to uh, find the structure of your paper using uh, semantic scholar and the meta ai now um, more for very young researchers one of the challenges we have is after we have been able to uh, refine our topics uh, getting the structure of how to write a paper in uh, the imr and a uh, and d structure is often uh, a very daunting task and so you've gotten your research topic and you're trying to find oh how do i get um the structure of this paper how do i know what should be the content of the introduction how do i know what should be uh the content of uh, the method what should i do in the result i present my result and discussion and you all of those confusion comes to your mind and uh, hinders you from going ahead with making uh, progress on your research writing and so in this video i have a topic and i want to find the structure of this paper i've been able to refine this topic uh from uh previous works and using the limitation of previous work i've gotten a wonderful topic but i am i am i am stuck at getting the structure of this paper so the first thing i do you have been taught to use uh near papers as um, a guide to mirror or inspire the structure of your paper and so i'm going to use that technique but i'm going to uh, blend it with ai and so i'll quickly uh rush to uh one of to um semantic scholar when i get to semantic scholar i would find this paper of course um if you don't know how to use semantic scholar you just go to uh, semantic scholar and uh, you type in the work you're looking for you don't need to type all of it say i'm looking for um ellipsoidal um ellipsoidal quantum dot i just type ellipsoidal uh, or quantum dot to the search bar and it would uh, give me all the several papers that are on um ellipsoidal quantum dot and from that i would uh, pick one or more of the paper ellipsoidal has an eye so it's going to give me the different search and give me uh several papers that are on um ellipsoidal quantum dot provided the spellings are correct okay so i have this and um i want to be sure that that spelling is correct so that it could give me exactly because um ellipsoidal quantum dot is very close to the w and centric quantum dot so i just type the the keywords of what i am looking at and okay these are several papers that are ellipsoidal in nature so this paper discusses non-linear optical properties my research is on linear and non-linear optical properties of um the doubly and centric quantum dot so one very paper that is very close to what i'm looking at is this and it's also a very recent paper so i'm going to click on that paper provided that that paper has um, a pdf that is i can assess the methodology it is an open access paper and so i can assess its methodology i can get to see uh the the the, the content of the paper now why i i tend to prefer a semantic scholar over uh, google scholar is that in semantic scholar you would have uh, several related papers popping up at once and so here is this paper if you scroll down you would find tons of related papers discussing ellipsoidal um quantum thought if you scroll down and scroll down there are several several papers coming up at just one click and so uh, that is why I, I i prefer of course um, semantic scholar when i am searching for uh, near papers and so i'm going to click on the pdf since that paper has uh its pdf available it is open access and it's a, a, a pdf it's available and so i'm going to just view through the paper just look through the paper 
to find that or to find the kind of uh, how the paper was arranged what is the structure and um, what method did they use i will just assess this paper to be sure that it is um, a great near paper uh, for my work i have described in one of my previous uh, videos what it means to find a near paper for your work you need to always find a near paper for as an early career researcher it is important you always find uh near papers for your work and so this paper had the abstract has the introduction and um it has a modeling it's it has wonderful mathematical modeling of uh, the time independence Schrodinger's equation and i uh, scroll down and scroll down and scroll down okay and scroll down i one challenge i would have is if i want to begin to mirror this one after the other it may take me a very long time and that's why ai models are here and one ai model that can uh, quickly do the, do the mirroring for you is the meta ai so what do i do i copy the uh, title of this paper and the name and the names of the author i just copy that and i take it to uh what is it called now to um meta ai so there you go i would copy the name of that paper or the title of that paper and i would get it to the title of that paper and some authors i would paste it on uh meta ai that's the paper that's the author and i ask it can you find this paper and i'll click on enter if this model can find that paper then i can mirror uh whatsoever work i have in mind and um i get to get the inspiration to write my own paper using uh, the content of this particular paper oh it's a beautiful one this uh, uh the paper is available and um meta ai can find the paper and it's it it will summarize the paper for me it would give me everything i need about that paper it will tell me what they did in fact if i wanted to use this paper for my review of literature i can so easily um get all of that and so it is find the paper it has told me all that they did and so i would now uh go back to my topic go and copy go and copy my topic and bring it here to mirror what is happening here mirror this particular paper and so i go to my topic this is the topic i am working on and i'm going to copy all of that and i would get back to meta ai and on meta ai i would paste that topic this is my topic uh sorry i didn't copy that i need to get back to copy that um, topic exactly okay so i i have copied my title and i said can you use the structure of the above paper to create an imro and a and d structure for this topic that is the topic i am working on and it would do that for me it's going to create me a structure mirroring uh that previously is um uh, published work there you go very beautiful structure it says they should have introduction these are the things i should discuss in the first paragraph in the second paragraph in uh, still the second paragraph in the third paragraph i should discuss all of these and the methodology i should use this and suggestion as use the dft and simulation parameters uh, this is what i should discuss in the topic this is what the um discussion should cover the conclusion and all of that now don't mind uh, the number of pages it is discussing but it has given me an outline it's giving me something i am going to work with so if i was confused not knowing exactly 
um, what to do or how to go about it, this paper has just helped me uh, to get that or this AI model has just given me a structure. And so I now have a structure to work with. I could just copy the structure, take it to my Word document and I begin to develop them using it as a template. And so if I was confused, if I didn't know where to start from, this has just given me a start point. From here, I can begin to refine and uh, beautify it and um, I'd, uh, optimize it properly. And in no short, in a very short time, I have my research work ready. That is how you use uh, Meta AI to get the structure of your paper.